Hi, I'm Brian. Kettle's on, make yourself a cup of tea. Today I want to talk about the Powerpuff Girls. It was reported on Variety a few days ago that the Powerpuff Girls live action series is in development at CW. Now, the article says, The Powerpuff Girls could soon fly again. Variety has learned a live action version of the classic Cartoon Network series is in development at CW. Now, if you grew up watching the Powerpuff Girls, you'll know that it was a kid's cartoon show about three girls who was created by a professor and they fought crime. It was very light-hearted, had some humour in, aimed at kids. So if you remember watching that, or if you've grown up and you still enjoy watching it now, I've got some bad news. The article goes on to say... In the updated version of the series, the titular superheroes are now disillusioned 20-somethings who resent having lost their childhood to crime fighting. Will they agree to reunite now that the world needs them more than ever? That right, the Powerpuff Girls live action series which is in development is just going to throw away everything that the cartoon has done and essentially it is just going to give the middle finger to fans of the show. No doubt it will take away everything the cartoon had, the light-hearted, the fun, it is going to be aimed at a more serious, dark, gritty version of it for adult audiences. So I honestly can't see this show doing really well. I might be wrong, there might be a audience for it, but I think fans of the show, both the original series and the series that came back in the late 2000s, I believe it was 2016 there was a reboot of the cartoon, but that reboot stayed more faithful to the original cartoon in keeping it pretty much the same. Three girls having fun, saving the world, jokes, humour aimed at kids. But let's continue having a look at the article. The article goes on to tell you who the writers and producers will be and then goes on to talk about the original show. The original Powerpuff Girls was created by Craig McCracken. In that series, Professor Utonium accidentally created the elementary school age super team of Blossom, Bubbles and Buttercup by combining sugar, spice and everything nice with the mysterious Chemical X. The show ran for six seasons and 78 episodes. Between 1998 and 2005, the Powerpuff Girls movie was released in 2002 while a rebooted animated series began airing on Cartoon Network in 2016. Should the show go to series, it would check multiple boxes for the CW. The network and Bellantini have built up a large swathe of superhero programming via the DC Universe while also placing emphasis on representation of people of colour and women on screen. The CW has also found great success in programming more adult-themed reboots of beloved IP, such as what they did with Archie Comics franchise and Rivendell, another Bellantini production. Now, that article pretty much says what I think this show is. It says there on the top line, it will check multiple boxes for the CW. Essentially, what I believe they will do is take the Powerpuff Girls, Obviously, they're going to have them older in the 20-somethings and they're going to resent losing their childhood to fighting crime. So, of course, this will probably mean that they will have a resentment for the professor and he will then be seen as a bad father figure. They'll grow up. They will, now that they're in their 20s, it will be as it is here representation of people of colour and women on screen. Now, I have no issue with people of colour and women on screen. That is fine. Obviously, representation is needed. But I believe that this will be a woman, possibly a coloured woman, who will then get them together to go on to fight crime now that the world needs them more than ever, as it did go on to say. And, of course, they won't resent them for getting them back together so they'll be seen as a great role model and it's just going to i don't think it's going to work if i am being honest it's just going to be a lot of as it does say checking boxes for the sake of 
checking boxes to try and not offend anybody. But what do you think? Is this just another way of destroying a beloved IP for people? Taking away things from childhood which people have loved and turning it into something that isn't nothing to do with it other than name only do you think it is going to continue on from what the power of girls set up or is it like me and believe that they are just going to forget everything that the cartoon was I mean it already sounds like they have now I mean Again, the article says it itself. It is just going to check boxes for the CW, and that is, in my opinion, not a way to make a good show. If you want to make a good show, make it. Have excellent writing, great cast. Don't go in with the idea of we've got to make a show and check boxes because people aren't going to be tuning in. Right, so please do let me know what you think of the news that Powerpuff Girls is coming back as a dark, gritty adult reboot. And that's all from me. I'm off to make a fresh cup of tea.